to Gavin Hood's cooking show. It has been a long time. Okay, guys. So, yes, yeah, so you guys are here. Uh, so we can Arthur in the background. It's the fact that he's half time and he's off school, so he's, he's running around. Probably moaning. Don't know where he gets that from. Cool. So, what we're going to so I'm going to teach you guys how to cook today. You see, some of the questions are messages. I've had a few of these. Is um, corned beef ash, guys. Yeah, it has been a long time. I've been trying to fit this in for a long time. Uh, but I think I'll, when I got the green eggs yesterday, the dog said, oh, bloody butter. So, I'm in frozen, guys. So, yeah, I'll let you know the measures of the butter you guys are going to need, what you guys will cook with. But I'm going to use, so for Marks and Spencer's, guys, is baking fat. If you guys want to spend money with your food, you guys can. So, first, do the way I cook it, guys. And then you can add your little bits in so you get the taste of what it should taste like. And uh, you guys do it better than me, fair enough. Cool. So, what should we do first? So, obviously, guys, you're going to need some butter. You should not imagine that's butter, guys. 700 grams of potatoes. Yes, guys, 400 grams of corned beef on that one. I did make a mistake, what I said. So, I've just... Yes, you're going to need one brown onion. You're going to need some cabbage. Some Worcester mustard. That's what we call it, if you guys can see. Worcester sauce. Um, that's it guys, and you just going to need a frying pan and get this pan to put into the oven guys You can grill it if you guys want, you can put it in a slow cooker as well So Let's get started guys But firstly, go wash your hands Have you guys subscribed? Have you liked the channel? I won't Come on then guys, let's carry on Let's get started, guys. Okay, guys, so the first thing we guys are going to cut up first, because don't forget, prep is important. I'm going to get it out of the bag, guys. Yeah, it's 200 grams of cauliflower. So this one is... Later. This is roughly, or you can do an estimate of how much you think you guys need. First thing I'm going to do is don't forget to wash it first, guys. Just cut it down into little strips. Just as I'm doing it, or you can pick it off one by one with the leaves. Just like so, if you guys feel like, and then chop it, guys, okay? So, all I'm going to do is break it up. How much I need, just like so, guys. Yeah, so I'm going to go through for you, tell you the measurements each by each. So, then because it's a big bit there, I need some more space because I've only got a small kitchen, guys. I'm going to whack it over and put it on there. So I think this will be enough for me. This will feed four people, guys. Well, we'll serve four people. And don't forget, when we're going to fry it, guys, this will shrink down as well. So I'm just going to put that in little strips. Put that on a plate. And that is your cabbage. All done. We've got your text one plate. So this will be the first thing, and the only thing we're going to put into the pan first. So let's go over, grab me on here, just like so, move that out of the way guys, then all I'm going to do is cut it down the halfway, remove the skin guys, hope you guys Halloween's gone alright. 
Make sure you don't go for Halloween. Won't go out after Halloween, guys. So, yeah, Halloween had a good time. We've got Christmas stuff coming up. I'm sorry I didn't do any cooking for Halloween. But time flew too quickly. Right. Okay, so what we're going to do is chop down there a few times. Cut the uh, bum of the onion, I'll say, where the root is. Chop down, make big chunks, take the end off so we don't got no waste, guys. And you just do the same again. Oh, the bum of the onion. Oh. Nice and thick. Don't forget this is going to shrink down, guys. It's going to shrink down when we start frying it, guys. Well, so that's done. So we're going to get a plate. We're going to whack that on a plate, guys. Move that out of the way. Okay, so the boring thing to go next is yes. We need to chop up our potatoes. You guys got a choice. You can either leave the skin on or you can peel it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel my potatoes. Because our fat doesn't look the skin on for some reason. So all we're gonna do is peel 700 grams of potato or what you guys think is enough for you. Or your family. So all we're going to do is carefully. This is a Scottish meal. There is different ways you guys can cook this. So it's going to chop down, put it into little cubes, guys, just like so. And then move on to the next potato, guys. So the way that I'm doing it guys is I'm just doing how I think it should go. If I forgot guys, you do need some Moxo cubes as well. But everything will be in the description down below what you guys need. And everything is on our website as well. So I've started putting the ingredients up there as well. So I'm just going through at the moment. There's probably bits and bits of trying to fit that in as well. To get that up for you guys. So it's on the website, you've got everything up there as well. And uh, the website will be in the description as well, guys. So you know what we're up to, what we've been up to. A bit of information about the food, if you guys want to know about where it comes from. There's loads of ways you can do this recipe. Some people just get it, get the cold beef and stuff like that and whack it in with just a mash. We'll teach you how to do that as well, guys, another time. And you've got Christmas stuff coming up, so I'll plan for that as well, guys. That starts, I'll start filming that in November. For you guys to get you guys prepared if you guys need to learn something how to cook please please comment down below and i'll teach you guys try and fit that in as well if you guys need to learn how to do a turkey I'll, i'm going to do a video on that as well but it'll only be like a crown turkey it won't be a full size turkey because that'd be a bit too much Okay guys, one thing I did forget to mention is yeah, I've done the potatoes now. And you should need 200 grams of uh, peas. Any peas you guys like, it's totally up to you. Or two tins of peas in your meal. Now we're going pretty much at the end guys. So next thing guys going to do is yes, we're going to go over and do our mincemeat. We're going to chop that up, we're going to fully chop that up, guys. 
I thought it'd be easier to get your Worcester sauce with it. So I've got some tubs here. Sorry you guys can hear a phone in the background. It's just your wife on the phone. So all I'm doing is taking the, taking the uh, packaging off. Smooth out the bloody well. I'm going to do the floor lighter anyway. There we go. Screw it off. So what you need is two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of your Worcester sauce. Just measure that out. It's going to take a while, guys. Could be like the summer sauce. That's one. Keep giving it a shake, guys. That's two. Put a little bit extra. Oh, well. One for luck. Okay, so that is done, guys. So I'm going to move that to one side. We're going to grab that. We're going to grab our mustard now. And it's the same again, guys. Two tablespoons of this. So we're going to get another spoon or wash the spoon you guys have been using. A big chunk of that. And another chunk of it in there. Half a tablespoon I'm going to whack in. So we got the taste a bit more. Move that in the sink. Put that out of the way. That is all done, guys. So the next thing we guys need to do is chop up our, um, our corned beef now. So all I'm going to do is wash this first. Get tidy up a tiny bit. Just make myself a little bit more space. And then I'll be back with you guys. Eventually. Okay guys, so now it's time to do a bit of cleaning. Got all the prep stuff still here. Waiting to go on. Waiting to go on, waiting to go in guys. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the key off. Make sure you use the key for these guys because these are going to be sharp as well. So all I'm going to do... Oh, sorry guys. Oops, excuse me. Is carefully use the key to open it up in a little slot. Oh, is it the other way? So I've got it the right way. Oh, so easy. Don't want to open, guys. There it is that way. Oh, it snaps. Careful, that guys. It's a dodgy uh, tip, guys. So. Let's try this one. Rub that a little bit, lift it up. All you do is open it up like that. That's what you should do. So I was going the right way, guys. So I've got a dodgy tin. So I'm going to do is carefully. Go around so it's fully open guys. So either click at the end. Set that off, don't worry about the paper. And it should just slide out guys, okay? Just be careful the edges there because they are going to rise the sharp. Carefully pull it out of there guys. Move it out of the way. All I do is can grab a knife and carefully slice it down. Oh, not that big, not that small. To little chunks. Put it to one side. Chop it up into little small chunks, guys. How small you guys want it, how big you guys want it. Don't forget, this has got to be 400 grams of mincemeat. That's about one tin anyway, guys. So I might just use this one. Just attempt it to open that. Carefully. Into little chunks. 
Let's go inside, guys. Let's go that. Let's go that. Let's go that bit wrong. Now, what I was doing there, guys. So that there is our prep done, guys. So I'm gonna leave that on the on the uh, board, guys. Let's get his knife out of the way. Okay, let's have a look what we got. So, so that there is our prep done. So we've got our cabbage. What we're going in first with our chopped onions. So remember, 700 grams of that. One onion. 200 grams of potato of um, peas. You've got 700 grams of potatoes, whichever guys you guys want to use. Two tablespoons of your Worcester sauce. And two tablespoons of your mustard. 400 grams of your minced meat. Remember, this is meant to be butter, guys. You do it with butter. Oops, excuse me. So two lumps of butter, about 200 grams of butter. That's the first thing you guys going to put into oil it up. And also guys, we're going to need oxo cubes. I'm going to use three oxo cubes, guys. So that's what we need to do next. So let's go and put the kitten on, guys. Okay, guys, so I don't know if you guys can hear me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the oxo cubes ready. Actually, I thought... Guys, I've got three in here already. So I've got three oxo cubes here. All ready to go in. So all I'm going to do is open the packet, guys. Hope you guys can see. All I'm do is break it up with my fingers. Just a little bit. Your hands will get messy, guys. I'm not bothered about the floor because it does need mopping. So if I could have a mop today when I finish cooking guys, I thought I'd not do it yet. But it's a finish cooking. So we do three of them. And we're going to fill this up to 700 millilitres of hot water guys. When we are ready, our kettle's boiled. Ready to go in. We need, to do, we need to warm our pan up first, guys, before we start using it. So, what I'm going to do is put my oh God, make sure you keep your oven clean, guys, so it keeps working. So, I'm going to open that up. So, I'm not going to put as much as you would add to if it was butter. It's the sauce you guys are going to be using. So I'm going to grab the knife, grab rod, and two. That should be enough for that. So yeah, so my uh, wolf is that my bloody butt I was going to use. So I might be happy, swing it round your pan guys. Wait for that to melt, get nice and hot in there, guys. So I'm leave that for a few minutes. Fucking fine. As that is cooking, guys, nicely, get it nice and hot, get nice and warm up your butter. Just get your butter first, you guys get to know what the taste is, guys. I'm just going to use a wooden spoon, guys, to stir it, to get everything stirred and mixed in. Nice and hot. Swell it round the pan. If you guys don't feel comfortable doing that, then just use your wooden spoon, guys, and just swell it round. It's not so. That's getting lovely and hot now. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my cucumber. I've got cucumber in there. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to whack my cabbage in. And don't forget it will double down in size guys. So as you keep doing you need a nice big pan. Obviously I need a bigger salt pan but it will double down in size guys as we guys go on. So this should take about five minutes guys to whack that in as well. mix we'll try and mix it all in together just to break up so we'll leave that for about five minutes guys so let's settle in so leave that five minutes and it should settle in very nicely guys easy way to do it as well guys just grab your tongues and just keep flipping it as well, here and there. It should, or well, it's going to definitely shut down in size. So we'll come back in a few minutes and do the same again, guys. Okay, guys, so I'll swap over into a big, a big saucepan, guys. Just give it that bit of extra room so I can stir it a bit better. So you can always can do it this way as well. We've got a big saucepan. This way is an easier way. It has double down in size guys. I haven't got the right sort of frying pan for it. So I'll remove that out of the way really. I do need to grade on my frying pans. They've only got ones really for frying meats and stuff like that, and frying eggs and stuff. Not for cooking like this. As you can see, it's doubling down the side, everything's mixed up. So all I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to grab my potatoes, I'm going to put them in. So it's been about five minutes to mix that up guys, to throw that up. So all we're going to do is throw it around, throw it so. So now I'm going to whack my kettle on guys, the wacky kettle on. Let's warm the water back up. Shouldn't take too long for it to warm up. Very nice now. So just keep mixing it so we don't burn the cabbage or the onions. So remember, three cubes of the ox beef oxo cubes. So uh, that's some room for me. So I'm gonna grab. Whoop. Bring you guys down. Oh, I'll get you further. Don't be look out. So guys, grab you there. So I'm going to bring it up to seven milligrams, seven hundred milligrams, guys. It's right on my. It's right at the top. Fill it. There we go. Just got a sort of massage jug. If you guys can see, it's going to be right at the top. Give that quick stir so it's not going to burn. If you need to, guys, turn down the heat. Uh, all I'm going to do is mix the after today, the salt. So it does. 
more filming, I think. This it in. I'm going to have room now. Good to see you. So the three. The second door is back over. There we go. And all I'm going to do is add that in. Just to calm it down. So it calm down. So I'm going to leave that to simmer for 15 to 30 minutes guys in the saucepan. It used to be flatter. If you guys are using it you might need to put a little bit more in. So just add water in it guys. I'll tell you what I'm going to add number two oxide cubes in. If I can find some got up there. So add one more oxide cube in because you don't need to be filled up that much in mine and just let that simmer for 15 minutes guys. Give it a good sauce. Well, I've got good sauce. So that will all shut them down as it's in there guys. And all you're waiting for is the potatoes to soften up guys. Okay. So I'm going to do is get some more heat to it. I'm going to wet the lid. Leave that for 15 to half an hour. And that should be lovely. And ready to start the next process guys. Okay guys, so now. The tag is getting nice and soft. So what I'm going to do is going to grab our corned beef. Yeah, it is time to put the corned beef into the bowl. Into the saucepan guys. Then all I'm going to do is grab them one spoon and carefully, because you don't want to shy and break the potatoes. So carefully put that in. And then all I'm going to do, then I'm going to grab my Worcester sauce. I'm going to whack that in. Then I'm going to grab my mustard. Chopped up, put that in guys, and then we're going to stir it in carefully so we don't mess up the potatoes. Oh, it starts to smell lovely, guys. The wife's already said, it starts to smell nice, it love. Now while we're there, we might as well whack in the peas, throw some peas in, and get them cooked, and just carefully mix it all in together. Good job, I've got a nice tub, offering this for safe more than four. Carefully whack it in, it's nice, and we'll let that simmer. Mix it all together. Let's get a pinch of salt, guys. I've got to get some more salt. Pinch of salt, because I'm running out. Let that simmer for about another 15 minutes, guys. Let the taste all mixed in. And it's ready to put in the oven or your slow cooker, guys. Or your grill. Cut to you. Your chance. All right, good. As you guys can see, we are done. It's ready to put in our ovens. Or your grill or your slow cooker so i'm gonna whack it in my slow cooker for about an hour let that cook uh, about half an hour to 20 minutes in your oven or grill 15 minutes in your grill okay guys let's get over to the slow cooker as you guys can see here my slow cooker was ready all plugged in let's open the lid all i do is tip this in It's a slow cooker. It's great what's left at the bottom. God, really pat. Do 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 what? Just like so, give it a little stir. And then all I do 
You set that cup for an hour or an hour eight. Where's the lid? So I don't forget, an hour in your slow cooker, guys, to cook. 15 minutes in your grill, about 20 minutes to half an hour in your oven. Guys, in your oven at gas mark 7, but it's about 200 degrees in an electric oven, guys. Grease, unless your phone hot, whatever it is. Grease, yeah, grease, sorry, guys. Sorry if I don't seem with it today, guys, in this video. I've had a long day today as well, so. So, and when that's done, I'll let you go, guys have a look, and then we'll get to the ending. And hopefully you guys will enjoy. That's right. okay, so yes, so I have left that on the uh, thing for an hour. I have dished up, so I'm going to show you guys now. This number is not going to look nice or pretty. It's there to warm your body up and stuff like that. It's just like a stew, as I call it. So let's, let's go over right to where it is. Oh, move it out of the way. Right. So as you can see there, I've sort of done mine with chips. There guys. So I did that with my scales in there to switch you guys back round. So yeah guys, that is all done for you guys. If you guys want the sauce nice and thick, just add plain flour and mix it into as thick as, as you guys want it. But don't forget to add some seasoning with it. I've got loads left over, guys. Yes, so that is it, guys. That is your corned beef ash done for you guys. For the person that asked me to do it, I've done that for you, for you, Tyler, or whoever it was. Um, we corned beef, just make sure that it's in the fridge and it's nice and cool guys before you chop it up and whack it in because it will mush all up it does depend on the quality of corned beef you guys use so the more money you spend the better it is going to be for cooking with it guys because it will turn into a little bit of a mush as well guys okay so i use the low quality sort of things so it's sort of like mushed up it's all together so that stuff will be more better for Bashing it with your bash. So the more money you spend, unfortunately it's a bit of cheap milk to cook guys, but unfortunately it's expensive now. Especially in England guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thank you for watching me and for going on to cooking show. If you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe, that helps quite a lot. If you guys like it, please like, please comment down below if, if you guys want to learn how to cook enough. You've got Christmas coming up. I didn't I forgot about Halloween. So that'll be next year guys. So I've got plans for next year for Halloween to do for you guys. And I'm going to start on the Christmas stuff soon. So that'll be coming out soon as well. Teach us guys what you guys want to cook before Christmas. So if you want to learn how to cook turkey, I'll try and do that. The next cooking thing I'm going to do with you guys will be a stew guys. So yeah, so it'll be a stew guys. Use a frying pan for this, guys, if you guys can. I hope I haven't missed anything up because I don't think I've been with it on this video. Have a look, Rola. It's adorable, now. <laughs> I wasn't I'm thinking, sorry, guys. What was it you said, darling? So it's just saying, been with it, really, have I? No, you, you haven't been with it for the last few days, now. Huh? Last few days, so I think I might be coming down, so I think that'd be a little cold. You can stop with all that business as well. Catching so I've got cold. a bit of a sniffle for a few days. So I think I'm coming down in some guys. So I thought I'd try and get this film on before I actually do get ill. Because <laughs> once you're there. ill, you're off, you're off duty when you're ill. Yeah. So I thought I'd try and get this done as quick as I can get this filmed. I'm going to get edited tonight. I'm going to put it up on YouTube, waiting for you guys to come out. So this will be out after the vlog. Yep. Yeah. I'm going to throw some stuff in there extra for you guys. I meant to have done this month, but and our time so we have got all the stuff coming up and uh, we're doing a single one Connor what's going to do now Connor what's going to do love he's going to do a stew you said 
Yeah, well, now I'm going to do stew on the next one, but I might throw the, how to cook a steak as well in there, guys. Shall I throw a cooking steak? Yes, yeah, steak. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to cook a steak in there, so that will be the next one. For the surprise for we had to apologise to you guys, and then we're going to whack in this stew after that one. So I'll put that about roughly about the same. We'll be after this one, but... Near yeah, enough in the same week. Same week sort of thing. So look out for that guys. Don't forget to check out don't forget to subscribe. Sorry I'm if I'm rambling on guys. You know what I'm like. Passionate on my cooking. I love cooking. Yeah, so remember quality of the meat the better it'll look. If it's cheap meat, it's gonna mush up as well guys. So I had a few extra slices on top just to go with the slice. Okay Google. Okay guys, so I'll catch you later, but don't forget, stay ghosty.